I got a box. I've been avoiding unboxing videos because uh, a lot of them they're about equipment that needs time to get used to and review and what people tend to do is they get the thing unbox it give you a review straight away before they've even used it so why am I doing one well what I've got here is such a simple thing <laughs> um, it's just a, a simple mechanical device with uh, no electronics <laughs> it does one thing so let's see if it does it well it's from Ulanzi it's called the MT79 Ram, and it's sort of like a monopod with a tripod base but it's got some nice tricks up its sleeve so qualified certificate Ulanzi woohoo uh, ooh there's stuff in here uh, more guff uh, destruction manual for those who can't simply look at the thing and figure it out okay it looks pretty basic uh, just a round cylinder but <laughs> they are legs and uh, it's got a lock an unlock it's got a red collar at the top you unlock that and then the legs can come out so tighten it up okay you have to tighten it all the way and then it locks apart from that goes up and down it's got a, a stop on the center column to stop the leg spreading more than that it's got a simple quarter inch screw so that will uh, there's no um, other camera mounts it's good for light stuff so I've got the uh, Sony X3000 here simply got a screw attachment for the mount screws on so my Sony can go on it other cameras can go on it not too sure how heavy a camera like my medium format not too sure if that'll go on it does have a tilting head 180 degrees both ways so a uh, couple of disclaimers disclaimer number one I don't need a disclaimer because this wasn't given to me I bought this with my own money um, Yolanda had nothing to do with it I wasn't sent it don't have to give it back they don't even know me so the second thing I want to say is some reviewers have just read what the box said or something and said this is what it is or this is what it does and they're a bit wrong because unfortunately the destructions that came with it said something about this that was not true Yolanzi has printed in their destructions this thing has a ball head it does not have a ball head so if you read uh, reviews online that it's got a ball head or listen to some reviewer that just read the manual and says it's got a ball head they're wrong uh, and you'll be disappointed because this head is not a ball head a ball head you undo it and it's got full movement all around it's a ball head there's no ball head on this this is a tilt head you undo that and the head moves backwards and forwards it doesn't even uh, rotate there's no ball head here it's a tilt head that's it <laughs> which suits me fine because I don't need a ball head on this particular unit but if uh, you hear or read it's got a ball head and you get it and you, it hasn't okay just something to be aware of maybe you land here if you ever see this fix your print it's not a ball head back to the video but the other trick is about it it's rather stiff this thing extends a long way let's see what we can do here Wow, that's way taller than me. I'll give you that dimension soon. Oh yeah, it goes to 79 inches tall. That's what the 79 is for, or two meters for uh, the rest of the world. But this is very versatile. <laughs> I bought it just to hold the F3000 basically when I go out so I can stand it somewhere instead of holding it while, all the time while I'm filming or taking photos. So. goes down to that it cost uh, 49 or something for a small device that can stretch a long way <laughs> um, and you can of course use it as a selfie stick sort of thing as well if you want because it had, does have this amazing tilting head so you can use it for various styles of uh, filming 
or taking photos. So there you go, it's listed as a light stand, but uh, with that thread on top, you can put just about anything on top of it. So pretty versatile. I will be using this pretty regularly. So if you're like me and you do want something, you can plonk down somewhere, even out in the field, and uh, put a light video camera on it or something. For the price, this is good. Pick up your camera, go for a walk, plonk it on a stick, and have fun. Bye.